Okay. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you, God. You know, I just heard some of these perps. I mean, oh gosh. You know, I started with these videos always talking about how hearing these perps make me thankful to God. And you have to be. And uh, I'm not thankful in the sense that I'm living a great life as bad. It's, it's, I'm, I'm feeling myself slowly fading away. And psychologically, it's disturbing. Uh, I was just seeing a trailer of some kind of podcast and there was some kids running in the background and start creating stimulation sensation, which they want me to accept and identify with this nastiness. It's so disgusting. So I can't be thankful for that in the sense that I'm going through that. But I'm thankful to God that, first of all, I'm, I'm okay understanding what this is about. I know that I'm manipulated to experience that. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. And you hear this trash contracted to make you acceptive of these manipulations. It's just embarrassing. They don't even know they're embarrassing. Because there's just so in this bubble of this reality they put together. Uh, this perp was saying, she, you'll die in peace. She opens the door, she says something like that. I'm like, you... Or she's saying she, uh, she's going to die in peace. And she's whispering these words and these ways. And, you, you know, they use a lot of very childlike individual. And I'm like, you don't even sound like you're living in peace. So where are you going to die in peace? Me, I know who I am. I know it's disgusting what I'm experiencing today, but I know it's not naturally happening. I know it's not organic. I know my brain is being manipulated and rewired. I have no doubt about it. Now, it, it doesn't mean that I enjoy dealing with this thing. It's still disturbing. It's tiresome. But if you ever think that I ever identify, it's over. Those days are long gone. The validations are too strong. The, the, I know myself on top of that. And on top of that, I'm validating that this is a tactics that they use. I will never identify. You can do all this noise campaign that you just heard. It's not going to happen. Thank you, God, for that. They're making me think of this little kid. And it's like, no, but you felt like this when you were a kid. You did this. like trash. First of all, I will never let you even think that this is logical. And I know that these people have known to be manipulating human target individuals in these pedophilia ways. It's never going to be unique to me. It's going to continuously happen to others. And they're going to have this trash who's going to quote unquote die in peace to try to gaslight somebody into accepting this. It's disgusting, but this is part of how we are tormented target individual. Um, me, my videos have become more than just a way to bring awareness. It's also a way for me to vent. And, you know, these perps really want you to accept this manipulation. They truly want you to be, like, identified nervous about these things. Of course I'm not nervous. I will never be nervous about things that I'm forced to experience. Never. And they want... And in me, when they do this thing, usually they bring up what they're going to do to you, the torture. It's like, you're going to be tortured, you're going to be swayed, that, like that, this and that. They say the foulest things in order to make me accept these manipulations. It's a tactic that is psychologically meant to create some kind of psychosis for you to accept these manipulations. For me, I'm like, you're just a clown. And I'm so thankful that my life, the ecosystem, making people experience these things and then try to make you accept this manipulation. What kind of life is that? Is that how you live in peace? Please continue to live in this peace. I reassure you, you're not going to die at peace. Even though you whisper that. That's what trash do. You continuously try to counter reality. I'm hearing this purpose saying, yeah, I rape her, try to change subject. They're like, well, first of all, even that's just disgusting because the reality of what you involve shows how much of this nastiness you guys do. This is not living in peace, I can reassure you. This is how you come to reality. This is when life consists of just painting a false reality because reality cannot give you peace. This trash and opportunist that are just enjoying the ability to do things to human beings in this sophisticated technological ways. Can you imagine you have the ability to control a human's brain, organ, control a human being? It's like you're basically playing God. That's the fun thing they love about this. I don't care. I mean, even the financial aspect, I'm sure they, they pay, the, the, the financial aspect of must be good. I mean, we talk about the Department of Defense. This is people that don't like money. <laughs> and so financial aspect of that can be. But just even the factor of you playing God, having the ability to do something to somebody like me, who I will look at you like a nothing. 
Not even look at you, but I'll just, you just like look at you. But just playing God, period. Having the ability to, to just change the brain of somebody and make him or her feel something or react certain ways. Well, in their own life, they, who knows what's going to happen to them. If you see who's talking about who they're going to die of peace, you, it's laughable. You, you look at you. In my mind, you can do so much nastiness, manipulate me in so many ways. You even can put me in a good mood, put me in a negative mood. You can play all that. And I understand because in your life, you can do that. I reassure you, you're not even living in peace. This, is, this, this is just gives you this empowerment feeling. So I've understood this. And so today, they, you know what they're living off? The torture I'm going to experience because they want me to accept this manipulation. When I see these babies running around and all of a sudden I'm forced to get stimulation, they're like, no, but remember when you just tried to bring me back to me in third grade, and eight years old, nine years old, and to be like, no, but you felt like that when you saw that. <laughs> Jesus. It becomes something else. It's continuous, disgusting rewiring of the brain. And the logic, and I'm looking at, like, I, I'm just so thankful to God. I'm just thankful. You know, I'm in New York City. It, it, makes, it makes it even worse. Because I'm like, this is so sad. It's so sad. That you are here saying, now we mapped as you, and this and that. You know, I'm listening to this podcast, right? They're making fun of this, this woman who left her child at home by herself. And she went on a, on a trip. And they the found out the, 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 the child, and she gave, she gave the, her child a phone and, the, you know, she was showing how to cook this and that. And somebody, they, they call, somebody called um, the cops because there was like smell of feces and urine everywhere. This kid couldn't take care of themselves. They were kids. And this woman left her kids at home to go on a like single thing, a single cruise or something like that. And, it, you know, this is a, is a comical kind of uh, podcast. And so the podcast is just making fun of things. And like, oh, you know, it's like, yeah, but you know, like if you're, like, if you're a solid nine-year-old who can do this and that, they start being funny about it. Obviously, nine-year-old is just too much. Even, even older is too, it's just too much. But this guy said, oh, you know, my, my, my mother was living in the, you know, was in the streets, you know, being funny that he had a pretty, you know, his, his, his childhood was a little bit uh, rocky, you know. But he's like, at least I have my, my older brother who's like a few years older than me, who's like 14 at the time, when I was nine years old. And like, okay, okay, that's okay, that's doable. And they were like, we see 14. You see? And they try to make me think that 14 is still, like, it's, it's, it's not a child. That you're not a child at 14 years old. Because what they try to do is, what I did as a kid, and I like to, not what I do is just bring up reality, put things in perspective. Try to make you think that as a child, you are, you are, you your brain is developed enough to think like an adult. You, you you're like solid. Like your brain is just like that. You you're a grown person. That you you, you don't you can't be impossible. Be childlike. And I'm like, let me just give you an idea. This is a thirteen year old kid. That just gives you a perspective. The reason why they dumbed themselves down to this point is because, as you can see here, obviously they know that this is a child. And at this age, you expect the brain of a child to be not fully developed. You won't expect this child to have the same ability to cognitively think like an adult. And so, because what I did as, as a kid, this impulsive act that just looking back, this is an appropriate act for sure, but it's a, an appropriate act done by a child that's in that same age group, 14, 13. So you understand the brain is not developed and it's something that never happened again, which is very much the case around that age. Especially like kids can do things and whoo, never think twice about. Now this is, for them, they try to race that. They, they're not that stupid. But part of this creation of reality is to erase reality and create these false perce uh, perceptions uh, and personalities. And today, because what's happening is when I see these babies, especially toddlers, kids of all ages, but babies, especially little girls, 
they forced me to have sexual stimulation. It's like, no, what we do is like we mapped it. We, we, we're not manipulating you. We, we're mapping it to you as a kid. You know, we saw that when you were a kid, you did this thing at that age. So today what we're doing is like we, we're bringing back, try to make you somehow rationalize that they're not manipulating your brain. As if you weren't yourself for 30 years or so before this manipulation started. And then you get validation that they have this pedophilia type of torture they do to people. And they rewire the brain and they rewire the thought process. And you have these clowns, these retards, these clowns, sorry, these pure clowns. Who obviously enjoyed being involved in this program because of what it gives them. Start saying, now we're mad, they were David. It's trash. You are here working for pedophiles. This entity is running this program. I feel with pedophiles, what they are here. Now we're mad, this. You know, they, they, it, well, it got to the point where at some point, like, now it's you when you're 14 years old, kid. They have no self respect. But the reason why I make the videos about the same thing is just because I know that these people want to escape the reality of how dumb down they have to make themselves be. Because the validation of how they manipulate the brain is there. This EEG heroidining, cloning, rewiring, this, this, all these things have been said in much better ways than me. And I always bring that up again. It, not been me saying it, I just like put the recording, listen to this. Do you get, you see how they can implant these thoughts? Not only capture the neural network, manipulate it, and then put it in your brain so you can get the design reaction they want you to experience, the reaction, the emotional or even actions and the thought process is manipulated now these validations are magical and then clearly hear somebody say oh they do the pedophilia type of torture they can even rewire my brain to smell things that are not around right make you feel smell like something that's burnt also baby baby powder and then give you this pedophilia type of torture so I know they can do this malodorance things to me that's why, uh, for me, I'm not sure sometimes it's like, is that a real smell or is that something they're making me experience? I don't even trust my own sense of smell because sometimes I smell food like as if it's right here. But I'm like, okay, probably it's the neighbors. But I know they have the ability to make me smell things that are not really close to me. They've probably done it once or twice, but it's not often. But I remember going somewhere and somebody's like, oh, we're going to do your sense of smell. You know, it's like they, they, they do these things and, and I know they can. Now, the validations are, are too, uh, too valid. It's just too much. Like somebody later will say, oh, they try to change who I am, putting thoughts of pedophilia. This is coming up over and over to show that a clear pattern. And this logic they want, me to have, they want you to have is just nonsensical. Now, what, what was said after that is even more disturbing and pathetic. But to hear, I wish I could record the way this person said this thing. See, you have a son, he's nine years old. They made, they created an imaginary child. And I don't, I, let me just say, I don't even have a doubt. And it, it, this child I'm, I'm supposed to have is for somebody called Courtney. Let me just say this. I don't have a single child with this woman. I will never have a child with this woman. And I will never have a child with this woman. I don't have a nine-year-old child, I don't have an eight-year-old child, I don't have a ten-year-old child, whatever age they try to... They, they, they even come up with age. You know, they try to create this battle because they were like... I think two years ago they were saying this this kid was eight years old or something like that. So I guess today you should be closer to ten years old. Uh, but they were like, in my brain, try to do the math. Like, no, but if, if they, she gave birth in this time and this... And I go, okay. And they truly want me to have this bottom in my brain. Let me just re I don't have a 9-year-old child. I don't have a 9.5-year-old child. I don't have a 9.8-year-old child. I don't have a 10-year-old child. I know I have no children with this woman. But I understand. They can come up with storylines with no shame. They have no self-respect. They can tell you right if I couldn't if if I couldn't see the moon, they could say, "Oh, the moon is right behind you." They have no shame. They, they, it's no, and the way she says like, she have a so and then my brain is starts doing the math in my head it's like because it's like okay you were co with Corny in what April of 2013 if it does and, and do try to do the math to try to make me accept or not accept it's like whatever even if you, even you told me if it was 9.8 
And they're like, in my brain, the way they were trying to create this thought, it was like, no, but he's about to turn 10. In the month of, I was like, Jesus, listen, this in, 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 imaginative child I have is non-existent. It's in your imagination for me to accept this manipulation, for me to accept this, this facade. They want me to be like, no, you, no, only you did this thing, to, but you gave her, she, you made her pregnant, you have a nine-year-old, shut up. These people have no shame. To the point where I go to the doctor, compromise doctors, I was always, it's like, oh, A as apple, B as boy. So try to make you believe that, you see, because you have a boy, like trash, you're just a compromise doctor. There's plenty of you guys. I know what you guys do. You, you do the same, same thing to defenseless women, treat them like trash. Women who come up asking for, for, for rape kids. Nasty trash. You compromise whole life. So target individual, these perps have no self-respect. The, 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 the thing about dying in peace, if they're not even living in peace right now, how are they going to die? I don't. The truth is I don't care how they're going to die. I don't care what peace they're going to have or not. They're not going to have. They're just going to get theirs. The rest, I don't need to see. I don't need to witness none of it. I'm just glad they live this whole lifeness. In the meantime, stay strong and don't identify with this. Can you imagine the whole child? They, they, even make, they can make a name for it, for this child, this non-existent child, and really try to gaslight you to accept it. His name is Deontay. Pay for it. Trash ass. You are here inventing kids to make yourself believe your fantasy, that you're some kind of femme fatale. Trash. I don't have no children, and you do not speak about corny because I know what you guys do. These people continuously utilize rape as a tool to break down even women. They are re Let me show you how bad it is when you get validated in this level. This is sh it's just a quick indication of how rape is such a common tactic that this is what they do. And they call it their rapes. Okay. Not being used. I mean, if you talk to the victims, the TIs, one of the worst breakdowns, and it's it's pretty common. Uh, I think I can say the word simulated rape uh, in four stories. You can say anything you want. It's the internet. <laughs> oh, uh, <okay. laughs> uh, and so simulated uh, orgasms and rape is right. extremely common. And, and right. Especially violating for women, they complain about that torture breakdown the most. So, this is a man saying that he's been interviewing a lot of target individual men and women, and then he says simulated rape, torture, and it's funny they try to rewire something. He says something similar rape and uh, is, and he sounds like sound like he says similar rape is. And say, so, oh, you're the rapers. Instead of saying rape is used. Oh, you hear the noise campaign? It's because they want to box in this version. This is what he's saying here. Orgasms and rape is right. extreme. Rape is extremely common and right. Especially violating for women. They complain about that. Torch break down the most, and so simulated uh, orgasms and and listen to this part. That's how they try to flip it into something else. Rape is right. extremely common. Rape is extremely common, but they try to say rape is extremely common. You understand? And you hear the nurse campaign. And, and right, especially violating for. Women. Amen. They complain. So you hear these people involved in a program where rape is extremely common, violating especially to women because they are the one complaining the most, making me have a child. You heard the noise campaign. Do you understand? To be so shameless that you're involved in a program where rape is extremely common and women are complaining about it the most. 
and they want me to go into the La La Land where I have a, a nine-year-old who's about to be ten-year-old son called Yante. You understand? They can play every... They have no shame. They call it their reality. And the alter reality where they really want to, to... For you to accept this bullshit and have zero shame to the point of making noise campaign when this man is literally saying... Oh, they do this rape tactic so often. They're so extremely common that women are complaining a lot. It seems like they're complaining the most about it. And they think them making no campaign is going to counter that. And I'm going to accept this uh, and, and imagine, imaginated 10 year old, 9 year old, whatever child that they try to make me imagine that I have. To make me accept the storylines. Target individuals, these people are trash and low life. They will get theirs. Let them live this peaceful life that they're living now. And you'll see how they're going to be reimbursed.